Atomic Pop Atomic Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Atomic Pop featuring Fat Man and Little Boy. I am Stephen Corka. Juan Farage. And we are here to talk about Stranger Things and the Upside Down. And I know it's late. It's it's come, We're coming up in December now. Stranger Things Season oh. 2 came out before Halloween. Yeah. To be fair, it's my fault, not Wonski's. Wonski finished this shit quick. Not me. Like, I didn't start watching Season 1 until maybe, like, middle of November. There's a lot of good stuff on TV, man. It's a problem, right? There's, there's, there's so much content. Like, when we were growing up, there's maybe, like, three channels we would watch religiously, right? Dude, there was Fox, yeah. NBC, CBS, and ABC, yeah. and that's it. And if you had cable, maybe USA and TNT, right? Like, USA had MacGyver and, like, shit like that, right? Yeah, yeah. So there was an... Yeah. And now there's so... USA, what happened to them, man? Uh, they, and they used to be a big thing. Big time. They, there is so yeah. much content now, and not just TV, different platforms, yeah. shit that I haven't even heard of yet, right? Yeah. So much good stuff that it's 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 easy to get lost now. Well, see, the thing is, is, like, you you, you, you know, f- all right, you have, your, you have your major networks, yeah. of course, uh, and then AMC, I guess, falls into that because they acquired Walking Dead and all that stuff. USA dropped off the face of the planet. Even though Jennifer Garner didn't she do a show recently? Where it's I'm, like I'm not sure. On USA and it's got some pretty good reviews or something like that. The last good thing I saw from USA was Burn Notice years ago. Oh, and 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 um, wh- wh- whatever. And, but and then uh, you got CW, which is the combination of WB and UPN. Um, but uh, and then Netflix came about. And uh, and that's not counting stuff like HBO and stuff that started making their own. Yeah, shows. HBO. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then. But but now you have you know CBS All Access, Hulu, yeah. Amazon Prime. They're all getting involved. Uh, Disney's getting their own thing. Um, it, it, it's a matter of time before every, everyone's. Just and and not only is there so much like quality stuff, right? But now because it isn't just on TV, right? And I don't know how much this hurts it. I understand that we have streaming services, you know, and we have DVRs and shit. But I don't know when anything's ever out. Like apparently the Runaways has been out, but like I just forget that it's Runaways, out. Because, it just came out on Hulu, and they, only, they because only do we the first don't three we episodes. don't see it announced anymore. Yeah. It's not like this Tuesday at eight o'clock. No, it's not like that. But right. I, I have and, seen ads for Run- Runaways. Right, so I yeah. I like kind of also like lose track yeah. of when stuff's gonna be released too. So that's that's become a problem I for mean, me as well. To be fair though, too, they they do announce it like Hulu Hulu. I mean, all the major networks kind of have a have a stake in Hulu, so they advertise their shows mm-hmm. for Hulu I don't on, watch their, TV. on mm-hmm. their networks. If you watch TV, um, uh, but so yeah, there's just so much. I mean, if if you are a producer, a director, a writer, an actor, or an aspiring, like now is the time to go to Hollywood or or, or Atlanta. And just you know, put yourself out there and pitch stuff because I, I, look, I haven't seen Atlanta yet. That's so much good stuff. Because man. the thing is, is like there's 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 so many platforms that need content, need good content out yeah. there. Uh, and you know, it's a bubble. It's gonna burst. Right. You know. You know well, it has to. It, it, there's no way all this stuff is as profitable as as shit used. Yeah, to be. Netflix ain't gonna be putting in as much money no. as they have. This it, was. It, it's like the it's like the music industry. The music industry bubble burst, and now you know you're lucky to make anything you know as an artist you know um so but i mean whatever we'll see stranger stranger things anyways uh it came out well over a month ago i just finished it it's my fault we haven't talked about it yet but now we're here to talk about stranger things season two and the whole (laughs) right side up and upside down verse and while we're at it we can talk about a little bit of stranger things one since we never even really talked about that um I will say this: I'm. Uh, we're both born in the '80s. We're both children of the '80s, uh, and I, and we really love the '80s. Uh, yes, that I, need that's important. Yes, uh, I I especially yeah. I I'm like an '80s fanatic. I love the music. Right. I love the culture. I love the movies. I love the cartoons. Yeah, I love the toys. Um, it's it it it's great. It's great for me. Uh, um, and everyone was telling me, you know, when Stranger Things season one came out, they're like, you haven't seen Stranger Things? Oh, my God, you got to watch it. You're going to love it. It's all about the 80s. Oh, my God, it's fucking this. And um, uh, so, you know, I'm like, yeah, I'll get to it, blah, blah, blah. And then just for this, you know, I'm like, I, I need to watch this show. Everyone just won't shut the fuck up about it, you know. Yeah, it's a so, cultural phenomenon. Um, I I finally started to watch the show, and uh, I finished both seasons, and... Not impressed. I liked it. 
If there's a season mm. three, I'm going to watch it. But Too much hype. You think ton, it got too hyped up? It probably of, did. Tons of hype. Tons of hype. First, let me say this. The casting was brilliant. Yeah. I think. I think everybody from... They all look like they're from the 80s. Well, I mean, well, that that's whatever. Anyone can look like anything by, by good costume and makeup design. But, no. but, uh, but the casting was phenomenal. Um, everything from Winona Ryder and Matthew Modine, the characters that we do, Paul Reiser, the character, the actors that we do know, to the no-name actors, and no. to the kids, the kids nailed it. Kids, kids are great. They yep. really are. They, they were all great. Um, I I think the show ripped off too much shit to be considered this amazing show. I don't think it was an original concept. Um, and I think the fact that it was in the 80s is cool. And I enjoyed, you know, I, I know I was talking to you about this earlier and you didn't like a lot of product placement. I actually enjoyed it because I saw a bunch of shit that I'm like, oh, my God, I forgot about that. I forgot how that looked like. Right. You know, I, I, I loved seeing the old school throwback Dr. Pepper can and the old school uh, Kentucky Fried KFC Chicken. KFC Bucket bucket and 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 whatever the fuck else you know but uh i mean no what'd you think what'd you think of what'd, what'd you think of the of the series as a whole the two seasons well fortunately when i went into season one um it wasn't a it was not a big thing it's just like we recommend this type of shit and i'm like oh what's this and i'm like uh and uh and so i saw it without any hype i just saw it going in as a fresh thing no one had talked about stranger things yet and um i think that's part of the reason why i love the show so much because i got no hype you know, I was watching like Longmire or some shit about some tex Texas sheriff in Montana. And I'm like, okay, I'm done. What am I going to watch next? I put on Stranger Things and I'm blown away uh, because I had no idea going in. Um, I could see how that show's gotten a lot of hype. Like, um, I could see that being a problem for anyone watching now. It's probably going to be, won't understand what the big deal is. Um, I loved it. I thought it was a, a great throwback. Um, I love the atmosphere. It was all really well done. Um, the story is not really, it's not unique. But yeah, it's not. a lot of this show is not unique, right? It's a lot of pieces. I mean, shit. If, did you you love bands? Like, have you ever seen the M83 video? I've never seen the video, but I'm familiar with the band. Okay, the, okay. Well, M83 had this video for the the song, uh, and it's about a bunch of kids like with powers escaping this place where they're doing tests on them, and which is crazy. That makes no sense with the song. But anyways, go watch this M83 video. It's basically Stranger Things. Like nothing about Stranger Things is really that is is unique. But I mean, it's, you, it's, you, it's, you, it's you could argue well the weapon, the weapon plus program is yeah, it's Weapon X is, is is Stranger Things. You know? Yeah. So the so here's the thing, man. Like it's not unique, but it's well done, and uh, and I appreciate it because it's a lot of stuff that I already like, filmed in a different way. It's well done. It's not, and and so I enjoy the show. I enjoyed the show too. Um, but, um, I mean, look, I, I, I thought the soundtrack was great. Um, I, I liked, I liked the tracks that they pulled by, by the famous artists. I thought the music was done great. I thought the look and feel was great. Like I said, I enjoyed the product placement. I thought the casting was great. Um, I, um, here's what I didn't like. And I, I noticed this right away. I think overall, Stranger Things really ripped off Silent Hill, the video game. Sure. Um, because I, I've only played the game briefly, but I, I'm a fan of the movie. And for those of you who haven't seen the Silent Hill movie. Underrated movie. It is underrated. It's actually it's pretty good. It's really good. Uh, the Silent Hill <laughs> movie, I mean, you are in a world like this, and then there is an opposite version of the world that looks exactly like... The world we're in now, except it's darker, it's gloomier, there's ash everywhere, just floating everywhere, and the buildings are decrepit and rotted away. Yeah. And, and so in Stranger Things, when they went to the upside down, is what they called it, you know, it, it's no different. Uh, 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 an opposite version of the world you're in with, not ash, it couldn't have been ash. Whatever it was, there was tons of shit mm -hmm. floating around that looked like ash. And, you know, very, like, decrepit buildings and vines everywhere. And I'm like, aesthetically, they ripped off um, Silent, Silent Hill. Silent Hill. Yeah. And Silent Hill has been out for 20-plus years. Right. You know what I mean? This is not This is nowhere near a new concept or look or feel, you know? Um, so right off the bat, I was like, this is, this is fucking lame. I don't, I, that I don't like. Um, season one going into season two. In season one, they had that one demigorgon. That, yeah. they, that they were fighting that was like an humanoid form yeah that 
he must have been shot at directly a gazillion times. Machine mm-hmm. guns, handguns, yeah, yeah. you name it. Guy never went down. It yeah. took 11 to blow that guy to it's nothing. Bitch, yeah. To, to, to get rid of that guy. Okay? Right. But in season two, the Demogorgon is now a dog, apparently. No more human. Well, it, it's no, like because a dog version. It hasn't gone there yet. They're growing into that. They're growing into humanoids, so they're dogs. Yeah. So, so what they go from? So they it, go from larva to dogs to humans. Right, right. So, like, well, I we, mean, we're assuming that. No, no, they're, they're, that's what we're told. Who told you that? Like on in the show. When did they say that? That the the demigorgon that they saw in version in in uh, in season one was the fully developed. They actually physically said that. Yeah, they said that. The I I must have been using the restroom yeah. during that time. I'm pretty sure. Okay, well, I I the thing about. Well, I didn't mind so much that it was a dog version versus a humanoid version. I just took it like the aliens in mm-hmm. the alien movies, like hey, or Resident there's, Evil. <laughs> there's, there's different versions of the of the aliens. Mm-hmm. Uh, the thing I didn't like is like in season one, nobody could kill this motherfucker, but in season two, the dogs were getting put down by one bullet. You yeah, know? yeah. And I'm like, wait, so they're 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 easier to kill in season two, but they're they're invincible in season one. And I was like, that's kind of lame. I just see it as you know, it's a lot easier to knock out a baby than a fully grown human. Well, you know, I, I, yeah, but yeah. I just, yeah. Well, whatever. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't um, advocate the knocking out of babies. Uh, yeah, the, the 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 thing is, Super Season Two, like it opened up with number eight, the the Indian girl that lives oh. in Chicago. So what I thought going into Season Two was going to be about is we were going to explore other characters that were experimented on in. The Stranger Things. I hated verse. that episode. Well, hold on, just slow down for a second. So, so I thought we were gonna get to know number eight a little more. All right. I thought number eight was gonna be an important part. Like, whereas eleven was big in season one, number eight was gonna be big in season two. And I thought, okay, well, this is how they're gonna keep the show going. Season three will be about number nine. You know, season four will be about number two. You know what I mean? And that's what it'll be. But instead, season two was basically just a continuation of season one. The villain was still pretty much the same. It was the, the, the upside down versus the reality. And right. The Demigorgons were there. They introduced that big smoky motherfucker. Yeah, from Lost. Yeah. It's the smoke monster from Lost mixed with a xenomorph from Aliens. Really? See, I never saw Lost, so I can't. Yeah, well, it's a giant smoke monster. Okay. And it looked like a xenomorph. Okay, it did look like a xenomorph. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, and Especially when it was like with a head down and like at the end, yes. it's like the alien queen. I'm like, what the yes. fuck is this? Yeah. Um, but I, I, I didn't, um, we didn't get number eight at all until one episode. Like that episode was awful. Seven or eight. Awful episode. That was episode. awful. Totally yeah. unnecessary. And you know, we did, we just, we just talked about the Punisher not too long ago and a bunch of other stuff too. This is Netflix's problem. Stranger Things was nine episodes long. It could have been six. Yeah. It could have been six done out easily and, and and that's it easily you know and so netflix really has a problem shortening their episodes and uh, shortening their seasons and just giving us what we want and they give us too much fluff i mean it, it's it's supposed to be a, a platform netflix is a platform that's not supposed to be like television it's supposed to be its own unique thing yeah. and and they present their programming to us in a unique way which is there's not this like there's no commercials right there's no waiting a week for an episode they give it all to us it's all about binge watching right so like what why do you have to follow any type of formula when it comes to the amount of episodes you give us it doesn't have to be 13 or 10 episodes every season it could be four episodes season one seven episodes season two 20 episodes season three as long as it makes sense absolutely but but all these Netflix shows all of them all of them are suffering from the same exact thing you usually can cut out half the show. You know what, too? In in a show like Stranger Things, where your core characters are children, yeah, you really are on a, a biological clock. Yeah, yeah. You know, you only have so long you can film with these kids before they are no longer children. So, in situations like this, like film the fuck out of it. You know, film twenty five episodes. You know, over the course of a year and a half, and yeah. then divide it into four seasons. Why you yeah. still got these kids looking the way they look? Why their voices haven't changed yet? Before they fuck up, you know that John, the kid that plays Jonathan, got arrested for cocaine. Really? At an airport. Okay. So he's not allowed back into this country. Shut the fuck yeah. up. Wow. Yeah. So who knows? Jonathan is Mike's brother, right? Yeah. The okay. nerd. Well, I, I didn't the know that. The woe is me nerd. I, 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 I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah so. He kind of looks like the Green Goblin from Amazing Spider-Man 2. <laughs> yeah, he does. The, guy, the kid that played that that guy. He does. Um, uh, real slimy like that. But yeah, the, the, the structure, they can... 
Like the, again, that episode was completely unnecessary. Completely unnecessary, and it completely unnecessary to even introduce character number eight. And, and the and the whole story with like Max's brother, like what the what the fuck? Max's brother, the abusive guy. Oh, what do you mean? Like it was just so pointless. Like what it, were he's looking for? You know, you're presenting he's for Max. Yeah, he's looking for Max and that whole hey, thing. You know, I like I liked it when he when he showed up to Mike's no, 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 house. No, no, no. Listen, was it was it was fun. It was yeah. funny, and the character again, yeah. very eighties. Yeah. It was really really funny. Um, yeah. but completely when it comes to the story and the pacing, unnecessary. Anytime he was on screen, it was a break, and I didn't buy him. I didn't buy in the motives like his dad's like an abusive asshole towards him. I like like I, I like is him. he a racist? Is he not a racist? Does he have a pro? Like. Just, it's just a lot of unnecessary shit, in my opinion. I, where like it's a way to kind of introduce Max and give Max like her own problem, but it was like it was just I didn't I didn't need it. I didn't mind him. I didn't mind. And him, I liked them. That said, I liked them, but still unnecessary, Steve. You know is what? My you, point. you know what it is. They needed that bully character in the show because in season one it was kind it was, of it, it was, was him. Steve, yeah, it was Steve, right? Who redeemed himself? And dude, I thought Steve was gonna die in season two, and I'm so glad he didn't. Steve's my favorite character in the show. Because I'm like, I'm like, Steve is like, you want to give him a hug and hang out with him. Like, I love Steve. He's a super nice guy. He's cool as shit. You know, I yeah. really like him. I, I really felt for him that final scene. Because he has my name. No, that's not why I like him. Oh. Um, that final scene when he's like looking through the glass and he sees her. Like, it was heartbreaking. At the dance. Yeah. yeah. Heartbreaking because you remember when he said he wasn't going to apply that he was just going to work for his dad like halfway through the season. He's basically saying, this is all I'm ever going to be. Yeah. Like, he knows that that, that woman is going to be a lot greater than he is ever going to. It's it's like he was trying to hold on to something he doesn't deserve, something that's greater than him. Yeah. And, like, they always portrayed him, like, in season one as his jock. But in season two, he's self-aware enough to know that, like, she's better than him. Yeah. He's always going to be a guy stuck in this town. She's going to achieve great things. And that was just heartbreaking uh, for the character. You got super deep with that. I really did. Wow. He was, uh, I was heartbroken for him. Yeah. So, well, I, 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 I very much enjoyed Steve. I'm glad he didn't die. Um, His relationship with Dustin was great, right? It was great. Yeah, yeah, yeah it really was. Here's here's the thing. Here's the thing. I did, I I I didn't like about season two. Also, it was kind of a regurgitation of season one. Yeah. Also, you know, uh, uh, we lose people in the upside down. We got to find them. Um, um, Will is somewhere else. You know, even though he's physically here, right. he's not here, and we gotta find Will and rescue Will. And you know, as much as we loved Eleven, Eleven really didn't need to be in this season at all, at all, at all. She really didn't serve a purpose until the very end when she closed the hole. Yeah. Um. And I, I just, I think the, I think the producers and the writer, the Duffer Brothers, I think it is. Yeah. You know. Um, I, I think they they, I think they took a bad direction here by repeating what they did in the first season when they had an opportunity to really explore the other characters that were experimented on, which I thought they were going to do. I thought that was the route they were going. Now, granted, number eight was not a great character. No. Uh, but that's just poor writing. They could have made eight really cool. No. You know, uh, that intro scene in, in the first episode. I was great. I was intrigued. I'm yeah. like, oh, great. This is awesome, you know? Uh, but then when, later on when we saw her and she's part of this like punk rock group, yeah. you know, it was just like, this is, this is stupid. Um, I wish they would have also gone that direction where they would have explored the other experiments as well. Um, each season maybe being a different experiment. Exactly. It, it, because it, 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 if you have 11, it gives you the opportunity for 10 more seasons. Yeah. And, and, and again, the thing is yeah. because a lot of season two was, um, was a lot of what season did one did already. Like. After season one, there's really nowhere to go with these characters, in my opinion. Like, there's nowhere to go. Right. Yeah. Like at the end, of, and at the end of the season, we saw the same thing. It's like it's still yeah nothing. What like Luca's got a girlfriend? Like okay, like yeah. So and do most boys when they what? grow up. Do something bold. You created characters people love. You created a universe that people embraced. Explore number eight. Explore number five. Explore number four, and give us a whole new cast. Yeah. You know, you still you could you, for fan service you could bring in one or two here or there. At the end of the day, they all came from that Indiana government facility, so yeah. you know you, you you could totally right or a coming home or like something, right? Yeah. Like I, I definitely be, I agree with you. I think a better route to take with Stranger Things exploring the other characters. A another thing I didn't like is this is a government facility with military police at it. Yeah, and it is the most non 
confidential place I've ever seen. Like yeah. the whole town knows about it. They bring town people in. Like the fact that they showed what's her name, uh, the teenage girl name, her and Jonathan. Nancy. The fact that they, that 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 they brought Nancy and Jonathan down to the sub basement level and showed yeah. them the thing, and then they're like, like their kids. Yeah, like, and then like, on. okay, well now that you saw it, go home. Do your yeah, homework, yeah, yeah. you know. And then that that guy that they talked to about spreading the word, that whole that whole scene, and when they went into town and yeah. they, they met with that conspiracy. But, but that, that, that that whole thing also that's um that's all plays on a lot of the '80s themes, right? Because you look at the a lot of those '80s movies were were centered around 16 and 17 year old kids being in the center, like Flight of the Navigator. And yeah, I get it. Shit but, like but, that, but you know. Again, just more unnecessary stuff that 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 the show the show could have cut out. Flight of the Navigator. They had an arcade machine to test whether someone was proficient enough to be used as a military weapon. Like, yes, come on, dude. I, I understand. Like, but, <laughs> same but, thing. But they 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 could. This is just stuff they could have cut out the show. I got gotcha. you. But you don't think that's more like an 80s throwback that they did something like that? I mean, it took up a lot of screen time. If that was the case. Yeah, that's true. You know, um, I want to say something that I think. Stranger Things does well, really well, is like the set pieces. It's beautiful. Yeah. The show is beautiful. I mean, well, um, Indiana is a beautiful state. No, no, no but um, no. I, I mean, I don't. I mean, the if, if that's where it's being filmed. No, 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 no. Wherever it's being filmed, I mean, yeah. I'm not talking about the state. I'm I'm talking about some of the the set. Like for instance, like when she's on the elevator, right? And it's just it's all dark around her, and all you see is like her hopper, that elevator. It looks great. Like I think it's it's it's. Something that you don't see in, in a lot of other shows. I mean, that's the computer, dude. Mm-hmm. I think they did a well, really good job with it. It looks like a beautiful show. Oh, I mean, it is a beautiful show. I mean, when... when and I'm not just... Not, I'm not talking about, like, the trees and shit, I mean, dude. when Will went to the Upside Down and, like... and It looks great. Yeah, it looks great. I mean, yeah. it, it does look great. Um, I just... I don't think it's a hugely original concept, and I think they... I think they... They, they missed a bunch of things in season two and, and a lot of opportunities. Because, like, here's the deal. They closed the hole, and that's been the, that's been the whole thing... So what's the point of the characters going forward? What's the next story? What are they gonna do? A bigger hole was season two. No, th- 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 was season three. You mean? No, season one was a hole. Season two was a bigger hole. They closed the hole. So what's season three now? Maybe they left a little part unopened that turns into the biggest hole ever. But do we really want to see another season with the upside down and demigorgons? I think I'm done with them. I'm think I'm done with the kids. I'm think I'm done with the little clever Dungeons and Dragons references. I'm done. I know. Yeah, that's an, yeah. It's it's a bunch of. Reg- it was really funny. It was cute. It was fine. Like when when Dustin, when they're trying to come up with yes. a plan, and yes. Dustin comes up with a D and D plan, and, and, they and Hopper's like, "Are you?" And he's like, "No, I'm not serious. It's a fucking D and D story." Like, yeah. no, great. It, it, it is great, but there's there's nothing else to tell. Yeah, yeah. I I think that story is done, and those kids are done. Like, what are you gonna do now? And see, and this is where the producers and the creators fucked up because they could have had ten more seasons by focusing. But they still could. S- uh, season three might be about number you know, eight, eight or yeah. two. Number or two, three. Number one, yeah. I, mean, I don't think the reception for that girl was really that great. Because everyone it, hated episode seven. Because, hated it. Of course they did. But not because of the girl, but just because it had nothing. First of all, episode six ends with the demigorgons coming out of the hole and they're going to attack the, the government facility. Yeah. And, it, it, you know, it's one of the cliffhangers in, in the episodes because the show was slow, too. There was yeah. a lot of like, like I, I didn't end the episodes. I'm like, oh, my God, I want to keep going. What's next? What happens next? Yeah. There wasn't a lot of that. Yeah, happened. yeah. You're like another and, one. And this is one of those episodes that was like, oh, what happens next? Yeah. And then you go into a totally unrelated episode. I will say this. The, the story of Eleven's mom was fucked up. No, like super fucked up. I fell for it. The fact that uh, Bob died, like that was that was crazy. It, it sucked. That was really out of nowhere. Yeah, you know, uh, and and he was actually you know he he's actually a good guy with good intentions. Yeah, and a, and a hero. Um, but but I think that goes to show about the on how season two so how unnecessary it is, because like all her trauma and whatever in season one is what pushed her to him. So now they're gonna kill him to what push her to hop like, just. No. Yeah. No, I'm I'm with you. So I mean, uh, again, missed opportunities. Uh, again, I like to watch Stranger Things season one too. As those two are good. I'm very curious to see where they go for three. They're gonna do a season three. They yeah, have to. Yeah, they have to. You know. So what do they do? I don't know. They they got they have a lot of work to do because they 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 I think I think they tripped up in season two. Um, and now they have to explain Jonathan not being there. Yeah. <laughs> Randomly. Maybe they'll maybe they'll film in Canada, in in Vancouver. It's funny. It's possible. Not not likely, but anyways, um, 
And again, I love the '80s references. I love it that the boys were Ghostbusters. Yeah, that was cool. You know, it, it was it was great. I, I I thought the show. You know what? I think it would have been better. I wish the whole show would have taken course over the night of Halloween. Nine oh. episodes in one. That's, that's, that's like twenty-four. No, but it doesn't <laughs> have to. But at least like get up to it. No, no. But like get up to it or something. Like I thought it was gonna be. I thought the Stranger Things two was gonna happen over the course of one night. Leading up to it, but then not like Halloween comes and guns and it's still like two more weeks of episodes. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. I want to see him in those ghost, Ghostbusters costumes the whole time. Yeah. I mean, that would be nice, but yeah. And on top of that, too, Dustin, like, what a dumbass keeping the, the thing. Like, ah, pobrecito, I fell for him. But, I got, I understand. But come on, man. Keeping, but I, I felt bad at the end when he died. Yeah. When it, what was when, it, what was when it? he was given the three musketeers. Yeah, but but then like they showed him dead. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, oh, I feel bad for Dart. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Even though he's a murdering fucking crazy. But he loved Dustin. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. So, I mean, is that it? So That's as a it. whole. So out of the upside down into the regular version. I, I feel Stranger Things season one was exceptional, was something unique. Uh not unique in its content, but in its presentation. Um, I really love season one, and I think I agree with Steve. I think at first I, I enjoyed season two for, for doing a lot of what season one did, but uh, it was unnecessary, and um, they should probably started to branch away into these other uh, other characters, and uh, hopefully for season three they'll do it. And we will see, but uh, we're fans of it, so watch it again. Uh, like, comment, share. Give us your feedback. Uh, follow us on YouTube. Uh, search Corker Comics or YouTube.com forward slash Corker Comics. Uh, and uh, for Atomic Pop featuring Fat Man and Little Boy, I'm Stephen Corker. On for